actually Sister Gorgeous one. <laughs> I was thinking about you earlier today when I was on the bus coming home from the gym. And remind me later to tell you about the head trainer dude. You you know the one with the eyes and the lips and the getting on my damn nerves. Yeah, I'll tell you about him later. Anyway, I, when I was on the train, when I was on the bus, I was reading the newspaper, The Red Eye. And they had all the advertisements for holiday dinners, and you know I thought about that damn Cane River Pound Cake again. Who, you know, I think that is my worst failure as a chef, as a baker, as a anything, is that damn cake. Seriously. I, Thanksgiving 2007, I flew from Oregon to Chicago with eight bunk cakes in my freaking travel-on, carry-on, okay? Eight. And they was all on point. But Thanksgiving 2008, I'm in a liquor store the night before Thanksgiving looking for praline liqueur, which the guy is telling me I should probably call you and have you just ship me some overnight. And then I'm trying to, and who knew? Okay, so you substitute for whatever. I don't even remember what I substituted for. And then you take out coconut. It still should be a pretty decent pound cake. It's pound cake. It's not that complicated or difficult, right? So to go from the person who makes all the family pastries to the person who comes up with a freaking brick. I think that's the biggest complaint I could possibly give you, that it was a damn brick. It was a, a ring of fucking brick, and I don't know why. And my husband is sitting there eating it, talking about, baby, what happened? It was crazy. I substituted, okay, come on, like I said, I substituted the praline liqueur for Godiva chocolate liqueur, maybe... If you go to the liquor store, TJ, it, it's in a bottle that's shaped kind of like this, maybe. It's flat on the bottom, and then it kind of curves up, and it's short and kind of stout, and it's, they have uh, the light brown and the dark brown, and I don't know what the flavors are, but you get the gist. I used that, the same parts of that, and I took out the coconut. How did I end up with a fucking brick? I'm sorry, excuse my language. How did I end up with a freaking brick? And you say people love it. Okay, so you see my recipe. You see what I did and what I changed. What happened? What did I do? Where did I go wrong to go from cake to brick, sis? Let me know. I'll see you later. Bye. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred.